Hello guys, my Uller back in with another new video and recently Mark Mead from HyperJS, HyperUI or uh, another Hyper, HyperColor, yeah, HyperColor actually uh, tagged me in uh, a Twitter post, yeah, and appreciated all of the videos first of all and second, he updated me about HyperColor. So HyperColor is now having a really, really great, awesome, incredible mesh gradient generator which actually generates telvin codes okay and it is highly customizable to be honest okay so let me share the site with you let's discover the particular portion of the website and let's see what we have today <music> So here comes our uh, hypercolor hyper dot devs mesh gradient generator. And if you click on this mesh, obviously we will get into this page. Now it has the option to export it as code, which is most important, and as well as a photo if you need it. Now if you click on this refresh button, it will keep on generating new new uh, what uh, mesh gradients for you. Yes, <laughs> new new mesh gradients for you. And now the best part. So suppose I want to, I kind of like this mesh gradient, but I want to edit it. Okay. So you can see we have uh, color stops. Okay. We have right now six color stop. That means we have six pointers in it. So if I click on show, show color stop, it will show all of the pointers to me. Okay. And uh, here is the BG color already, like background color already set to it. So suppose I want the background color as uh, too many, too much dark. Okay. And then now on, I want to change every other color. Suppose I want to change one. One means this pointer. So I will first of all move it into the frame. I will increase some of its radius and change it colors to something else. Maybe uh, something more like orangish it will look good i think so uh, okay now i want to change the second one as well okay so if we have to click on this one to uh, collapse it again <coughs> okay so now i want to change its position as well maybe a little top maybe like this but maybe a little brighter color yes now let's move the five fifth one as it's closer to this i will increase the transparency and move it up a bit okay colors look good uh three let's change three uh, let's Keep it to the top and let's change the color to something else that is more suitable to this theme. Do I not amber? Actually, I will shift it more towards this section. Okay, now we have the sixth one fourth one where is the fourth one okay here is the fourth one i don't know what it is <laughs> what this teeny tiny bit is doing over here so i would like to set it up over here uh, increase it and make it something like red or pink okay so rose let's go for rose 500 yeah now I just have to bring another uh, violet type color that will like take the whole thing. Over. <coughs> Sorry. Purple 600. Okay. Now it is looking almost okay, right? 
and you have uh, you have watched how i like uh, edited every bit of it now if i want to add one another stop that is one another color point i can simply click on add color stops over here and if i want to remove it i can simply click on remove to remove that particular stop so this is how you will use it use this particular generator and when you are done just click on it to copy the code and that's it and if you want to generate the photo just click on it to yes download the photo the phone is downloaded but it is in jie jfif g5 <laughs> i don't know what that format is but there is kind of a different format okay so that's basically about it that's basically about it about this website how it generates all of this and all okay so i'm going to use it for my websites from now on obviously okay and i loved this loved it is is there any uh, room for improvement yes a little bit maybe like if they have give me option to uh, directly pick it up and change it anywhere i would like rather than like uh, uh, dialing up it in this section i it i would have prefer it more though it seems okay for now okay and rather than that if uh, i would have a uh, option to export it as svg which will include all of the color like hex color hex code of all of those things and blend it into the svg that would have been great though svg doesn't have the blur filter i think whatever so that's basically about it and another thing another thing i would like to say that is when you are like uh, playing with the transparency you can see that you are playing with a oblong form right so it would have been great if we could change this oblong form to our like okay whatever we like like it is right uh, now in oval oriented in uh, vertical position so if i would have wanted i would like to make it uh, uh, maybe uh, in horizontal position or maybe totally circular so i should have that power in here i that i think so okay so that's yeah that's basically it about this website that's all of my suggestions so please do use it and if you know about something like this like something really really great like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future video and use it myself rather than that if you know like like my channel and like my videos like these videos please give this and give this video a thumbs up comment down below whichever portion you like the most what you want to see next and share it with your friends help me to grow the youtube channel that's it bye and another thing uh, i may be irregular for some days okay because my exams are coming okay i can't give too much time to the youtube right now so that's one other thing so yeah i will complete 365 videos for sure but maybe there will be a little bit of hindrance so that's another note so bye